My name is Joe Wernig. I'm the father of three children, a daughter that is a junior in college, one a junior at Guilford High School, and a son that is in seventh grade at Guilford Middle School. Uh, we're Roy Swanger and Tricia Swanger. And we have two teenage daughters, one's a senior in high school and one's a freshman. This election is so important for parents because we're dealing with issues like education and health care and the differences couldn't really be more stark. No, Carol will be looking out for my best interests both my daughters, my son, uh, me as an educator, import, more importantly, New Hampshire as a state. The biggest concern is college loans. And Carol has done things in her record that will help that, whereas Frank Genta has frankly opposed all of those changes. And we just saw in the paper today that uh, student loan debt is crushing and we're the, among the worst states in the country. At this point right now, more kids are going out state. It's cheaper for me to send my daughter to a private school, a smaller school, than to send her to UNA. You know, when Carol was in office, my daughter actually sent her a thank you note um, and a letter of congratulations because we happened to notice in a little section of the newspaper that she had actually won the Shirley Chisholm Award for education in 2009. My daughter receives a Pell Grant. Uh, she has applied and received student loans, federal student loans. Uh, she has applied for the FAFSA, and Carol Shea Porter helped pass the act that streamlined the FAFSA. I care very deeply about education at the local level. I was on the school board, I've been on the budget committee, and all you have to do is look at the state that Frank Ginta left the Manchester School District in, where we are, uh, we are violating state standards and even fire laws in some cases because of the way he gutted education at the local level. Um, now he's at the national level where he can do even more damage, but I've seen that Carol actually supports education from the local level all the way up. Um, I'm not actually a registered Democrat, I'm an independent. Um, I left, well, I didn't actually leave the Republican Party, I feel the Republican Party left me. I voted Republican for a long time, uh, until the past couple of presidential elections. Uh, and the, the Republicans that are out there right now are just not the Republicans of old. Uh, as educators, we support candidates who support education, both Republican and Democrat. And one of the problems right now is it leans towards a lot of Democrats. The Republicans that have supported education in New Hampshire, a lot of them have been ousted by free staters and tea parties. What I see is them saying that government shouldn't be in your lives, and yet they're more intrusive than ever. Um, and at the same time, they're taking away basic things that would make it possible for the individual to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. We need them to be able to be rational and get along and do what they used to do. I'm voting for Carol because she's the most fundamentally decent person that I've ever met in national politics, and I've met a lot of them. 